I've gotten some questions on my YouTube channel there that you're watching this on. So I'm going to kind of go through this time of everything I got and try to do a really good tutorial for you. Um, I'll go through some of the stuff that I have that I use, not necessarily that you have to use. But uh, after around a year, year and a half, I finally got this down pretty good. I mean, you're never 100% perfect. But hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and not make the same ones. But this is a 100-gallon Rubbermaid. They're 80 bucks at the local tractor supply place. And the reason I got that was because the other ones, I just couldn't get enough paint to get the good coverage, especially on the cutouts uh, and the guitar body. So um, that's why I went with the bigger tank. And there's other people that um, do this a lot that also have bigger tanks, homemade ones. I found this easier just to buy this thing. Uh, I also, because I live here in Florida, it's hot, you know, 10 months out of the year, I've got an aquarium chiller, and um, this one I keep set around 76, 77, uh, especially if I'm going to be doing a lot of swirling, that way I can keep the temperature in the water right where it needs to be in order to get a good swirl. Also, I use a thermometer inside of it, too, just to double check to make sure I'm where I'm at. Now, I do shut the, uh, the, the chiller off when I'm going to swirl because you can't have any kind of movement. The same goes with I've got a, a air conditioning unit on the wall, but um, that I shut off. I shut anything that can create wind on the water and, um, you know, any kind of ripples that'll screw up my swirl. I also wanted to touch base a little bit. Um, these are the hooks. Uh, they're like a J, candy cane, whatever you want to call it. Someone asked about um, how I, you know, what I use or what I make to connect to the body uh, this is what I use for them and also some of the paints that I use for my base my primers in that really the um, best one that I, I've gotten so far is this PPG paints seal grip and uh, it seems to work the best it doesn't bubble up at all or clog up on the tip whereas the rust-oleum I had problems back and forth Krylon's not that bad either I use a lot of their different color ones if I'm using a color base now also some of the other stuff that I use is I've got these sticks for swirling that you've probably seen the big one me using that one I don't know if I posted one of me using the it's actually a drumstick that I uh, made into a point uh, and then also this is the stuff that I use the paints I use it's a uh, magic marble swirling paint and you can go online and find that they're out of Georgia great people to work with stuff works great um, also they're really big help if you have any issues with it